Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to explain how to integrate EnableX Video UI with EnableX Flutter UI Kit. To start the process, you must have a valid EnableX room and token to join the session. First of all, you need to open the Android Studio. Now, click on New Flutter Project to create a Flutter project. Choose Flutter from left menu and click Next. Enter the project name and click Finish. Wait, it's creating your project and finishing to set up your workspace. Now, wait for scanning your files and indexing. You can now go to your pub spec.yam file and add the library. You now need to sync up your library. For doing that, click on pub get showing on top. Wait for sync up to be finished. Now go to Android, App, Build Gradle and set minimum SDK version as 24. For accessing the WebRTC library, you need to once again visit Android, Build Gradle and add JCenter inside Build Script. Do not forget to add JCenter bracket close inside all projects. You now need to add flat directory inside all projects. This will help you access .aar files. Now go to App, Source, Main, Android Manifest.xml and allow the required permissions. You now need to create a new page to load the video. For doing that, go to Library, New, Dart File. Once the new page is created, implement the required methods to load the page.
Now initiate the Flutter UI kit inside the widget. Pass a valid token to join the EnableX room and set a callback for disconnect and room connect error. Here, set the minimum Kotlin version as 1.6.10. Now open the iOS folder in Xcode. Now, go to your project, target, signing and capability and choose a valid certificate. Set the iOS development target 12.0 in your project. Now, close the Xcode, open the terminal and go to project directory iOS. After reaching the iOS directory, install the pod. To install the pod, hit pod install command in terminal. Once the pod install is successful, again open the iOS project in Xcode. Now go to pod enx underscore flutter underscore plugin bit code is equal to no. Congratulations, all setup has been done. You can now connect the device and run the project.
Thanks for watching this video. Do like, comment and subscribe to our channel if the content was helpful for you.